right YouTube channel King King Nandru. and uh, this this is basically just a channel update. You know that things are gonna come up in the future. So uh, lately, I've been uh, occupying myself and my channel by doing uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic um, so to help build off things. Uh, up to the new expansion, Legacy of the Sith, which is supposed to keep coming sometime in the uh, holidays uh, quarter. So s probably sometime between July, uh, not July, uh, November and December. So it'll probably be one of those times. And if it gets delayed, probably like January or February. Um, but admittedly, um, I, I have probably put, like, too much of them all at the same time. Uh, so, I'll be uploading, uh, the last clip I have at, uh, some point in the, in the near future. Possibly it might be later on today. And, that'll be, that'll be it for Star Wars content for, for the while. Um, uh, as far as, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic is concerned. Unless I find like something like like a something really meaningful, like uh, like I still need to do my smugglers uh romance with the Kavi Spars reunion, uh, and uh just between us, uh, he's kind of in a relationship with uh Lana Benica right now, so expect like there to be fallout from that too. <laughs> uh, classic. But anyway, um, that's gonna be it for Star Wars: The Old Republic. Um, there will, I will, I'm still gonna do my monthly review of Tales of the Jedi. Admittedly, though, since I have, um, I did some stuff with state with the state of Star Wars. I'm about like three issues ahead, um, because I, because uh, wa I watched a recap of the, the next three chat, I mean, the next three issues, so it, it's not going to be as as surprising towards me, but um, we'll just take, yeah, it'll give me my own personal chance to get perspective on it and have some extra context behind it, so, but don't worry, overall, it's still happening. Um, another thing that's going to be uh, going on is that I'm going to do my review of Welcome to Demon School, Air McCoon Season 2. Now, I've already seen all of Season 2 as far as the, uh, the side version is gone, uh, but the dub is still a few episodes behind. They're still, they're still dealing with the whole Walter Park right now. I think they might have, like, hmm, I might have, like, six episodes left. They might have six or seven episodes left before their season finale, and once that's done, I'll do my review of uh, Welcome to Demon School Air Raccoon uh, season two, which is it's really interesting because I because I went on Twitter and I talked to the uh, uh, to the voice actor of, ja of Jazz Andro, I believe that's, that's the character's name. Uh, I talked to him about it. I told him I was a huge fan of Welcome to Demon's Clan Raccoon, and he he was really excited to know that there was a fan of his of something that he's worked on. Uh, really nice guy, really talented. Uh, so maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, I'll send him a link of my uh, review once once I've done that. Huh. And give us something to talk about. But uh, anyway, look forward to that because and honestly, I. I strongly recommend that you guys watch Welcome to Demon School Air Raccoon Season 2. If you like stuff like Dragon Ball or Rosario Vampire, uh, you'll definitely love this. Uh, and I'm, I'm referring to like the manga version of Rosario Vampire, not the anime. But speaking of Rosario Vampire, that's a nice segue to my next topic. Uh, I'm going to be try to con uh, actually continue reading the... Re Ghost Reaper Girl manga, you know, from you know the manga that was created by the same guy who created Rosario Vampire, uh, Aikiza Aikida. 
although he might be going under a different name now. I, uh... But regardless, I'm going to start uh, reading, reading Ghost Reaper Girl, and there's a good chance that I might do a review. Now, uh, because I've recently got hired for a new job, um, I'm not going to be able to do this as frequently as I did the Rosario Vampire uh, manga reviews, which I believe I did that like, 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 uh, I, I forgot what my schedule was like. I think like, like I covered like two chapters every time I did it, and then I did like there were times where I did like like just two chapters a week, or maybe like six chapters a week. Or something along those lines. Uh, but God, it's not going to be the same because I'm going to have more responsibilities. Uh, I'm going to work on this new job. Also, I'm trying to uh, improve my uh, game designing skills. I've been working on coding. Uh, as you can see in my uh, YouTube playlist, I've been learning how to code for like games like Minesweeper, uh, a Bejewel game, RPG games. Uh, I've even I even uh, worked with, uh, a couple of years back, worked with a guy on our own present game called King of the Shadow Realm, which is based on my OC, King Nasri. Um, if you guys want to link to that and see what see for yourself, um, you can do it. Uh, we did share this with some develop with some uh, developers. They did like it, although the, it's, it's a bit sto it's a story driven game. Uh, it's more like a text based. So don't expect anything like uh, graphics or action like that. And it can, some parts can get a bit wordy, but it is pretty good. Uh, there's also good uh, choices. But enough about that self-promotion. Um, let's see, was there anything else I should talk about? Uh, yeah, um, there might also be a slight delay because I'm going to have, uh, with some other videos that I might be doing in the future, because um, my, uh, one of my relatives is going to be uh, visiting me later on in October, and uh, he recently has suffered, suffered from some medical problems, and he will need to be taken care of, so how much of my time is going to be devoted to that. Uh, plus, I've been, uh, I spend some time every day, I mean, like, well, most of the Almost every day for for uh, of the week, reading uh the reading the Bible because I've kind of uh had some regrets about some of my choices in my life and I'm trying to make myself uh more at peace with God and trying to get myself right with Him. Uh, so that's gonna take away from my schedule as well. Um, but those were pretty much all my plans. Uh, Swilter is going to slow down uh, until I get, until like Legacy of the Sith come in, then we'll get start kicking back up with new content. Um, and I'll, I'll try my best not to uh, bombard you with all these videos, but like, don't hold me to that. Uh, Tales of the Jedi is still going to be a thing. Still going to cover that every once a month. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, going to do the Welcome to Demon School, Aaron McCoon, uh, Season 2 review once uh, the English dub is finished, Aaron gets final episode for the season, and going to cover Ghost Reaper Girl. I might look up Chapter 2 either tonight or maybe uh, after I get back from work, work and see what my schedule is like, if I have some free time. <sighs> Let's see. Um, now, I know a lot of you probably are also wondering, uh, what about Dragon Ball content? Because a, a lot of you know that I am, to some extent, a Dragon Ball YouTuber. It's been a, one of my, on the, it's been a huge part of my channel. Been doing it almost practically since I've started this channel. Um, I mean, unless it's going to be covering, like, 
covering like the uh the upcoming movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero, uh, which we haven't got much news on. Uh, don't expect too much on that. I mean, the only content I pro I could probably cover is like the Dragon Ball Super manga, and, the, and you guys know that I do not like the Dragon Ball Super manga, and I usually only cover it when something monumentally stupid happened because of Toyotaro or some or something other than that. Like maybe Toriyama had an idea that wasn't all that great in hindsight. Uh but overall I I'm sorry that I ha there hasn't been much uh Dragon Ball content for you guys. Um but to like make it up to you, I think I saw a post from a friend of mine, uh, Shadow Wolf Seven One Twelve, I believe that's what he calls himself now. Whom you bear, who you guys, somebody might better known as like Path of Geofried or Danny D Worlds or the original Krillin fan. Uh, on many names, uh, he made an interesting post about how the Jita fans don't exactly get the Jita, and they kind of really need to analyze. And they have like this very warped. I, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to go too much into it, but I think it's really interesting. I think I might cover it at some point in the near future. So, you know what? You know what? I, I will do that at some point in the future. So look forward to that. Um, but all in all, those are all my uh, current plans uh, for my channel. Uh, if you guys have like any suggestions, um. Uh, what I could uh, possibly do for this channel, uh, you can put it out in the comment section, and uh, I can just uh, consider and discuss it. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you mortals later.